Microphone check, one, two, three, four, five. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is here. Yo. Sade is in the building. Hi. Yeah, J Hill, I'm in the building. And then we got the whole hey, squad babe. in the building. Everybody's here. We got the whole team here. Yeah. You, you feel know. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Shout out to Gigi Melrose on the face because oh, I'm right. giving face. You are like, make sure y'all zoom into my face. Hey. Let me look at my camera. I always wanted to. You see me. You see what the fuck going on. I know how I feel about my, my, my full name. So I don't even want people to call my full name. So what is your what is your business name? Because I don't want oh, me? Yeah. Cyrano. Okay, Cyrano. I never knew how to pronounce that. As Alex. Long as you know how to, as long as it says, it's okay. Mic? Cyrano. Shout out to my cameraman, Cyrano in the building. Shout Yo. out to Wyman in the building behind the video. Shout out to our producer, Alex. Say what's up, Alex. Yes, sir. I'm here. You Alex is here. I'm here. I am yeah, here. Yeah, he's here in the <laughs> flash. Yeah, Monique is in the building. Monique, yeah. On the screen. Smoking out hookah. You feel what I'm saying? She, she don't got a gin and juice today. She bullshitting. Mm. She bullshitting. But look, yo, we here. Uh, you got um, shout out to Bel Air. First and foremost. Y'all give me a sip in my cup. Yeah, like, my bad, my what, bad. What's going on? We drinking mimosas um, given to us by Bel Air. one and only Luke Bel Air. So shout out to Luke Bel Air. You see the vi- vibes. You got Catch-22 up here on the Luke Bel Air. What's up? Mm-hmm. You can get any bottle you want at Catch-22 Hookah. I ain't gonna lie. I like the, I like the, uh. You like the Bel Air look? I like the Bel Air look. We had like Ace the, of Spades um, at first, but he could do whatever bottle. I just seen he had like pretty bottles going on. You know, he, you man, all right? I'm making you okay? Wow. On the couch. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm this is so an excellent sorry. way to start yeah, zero like, one four. Alex, like what the fuck? I never had this. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This on a glass mirror. I just cleaned the glass mirror. Extra with Can the newspaper like your grandmother taught you. You know, your grandma taught you how to clean the glass with a newspaper and Windex because it gets all the screeches out. And you just drop all the, the orange juice on there. Look, I'm, I'm not announcing what orange I was juice until one of them sponsor us, period. Boo. The surplus, okay? That was the <laughs> intention. Like something, like something you can get some test juice. No, not that. <laughs> Not the sponge, please. Oh, I'm, grab the sponge. I'm, I'm stressed <laughs> out. Ah 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 ah. All right, listen, man. Uh, uh, um, shout out that. Can we toast? I ain't gonna forget I you this time. Oh. We call that growth, okay? We call <laughs> that growth. Yeah, if y'all could just only see from the beginning how he would never cheers me, I could have just dropped the cheers you back. You, long, right. you like, that, <laughs> like can't toast. even let me think. My okay, hold on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hey. Last episode got a little crazy. I can't stop looking at these drops on the table. I'm sorry. Go you ahead. Get some, some, some tissue. It's still on my sweat. sweat I thing. mean, I feel like this is black. Just go on. Whoa! You don't do that. You dab that. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. You just I, had to be patient. I did, oh. Thank you. It's just black. No, that's going to put lint on it. Oh, my God. He wasn't talking to me about that. You was better off doing it with my hand. Now you got lint- the linty black pants. Right. Talking about you dab that. That ain't right. fucking. What Denzel said? That ain't motherfucking what, what, what pat- 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 What do you call what it? Call it? it? <laughs> it was what? You got to yeah, block, block that, that shit, nigga. Um, But it's all good. Uh, shout out. $1,000 pat- Sorry. It's, it's Cashland, though. Shout out to my guy. Shout out Make sure you shop cashland.com. Uh, shop dot cashland. Check out his new uh, venture, District 18. I think it's District 18. Hope I mess it up. Um, Hookah but yo, is pulling today. Oh my gosh, you guys know I couldn't get no hookah last week, so I'm in hookah. Speaking of last week, can we get into it? Yeah, sure. So we actually had a, a great conversation off camera. We did. So it started like it started kind of similar to how it started on camera, <laughs> and then you, you know, know we always start light and then we end up in a um, frenzy. Yeah, we came so. to some. Um, I don't know who phone that is. We, we then we came to some understanding. Yeah. And from what I got from it, honestly. Hold on, babe. We call this reflection. We're gonna reflect on last week's episode. Yeah, let's episode. reflect on last week's episode. Reflection. Mm-hmm. What are we reflecting on, babe? What's so, so I think that from a man's perspective, right? Even if you're doing things with good intention or not ill intention, you just wanna be over communicative to your partner yeah as a man sometimes we feel like we're not trying to hide anything but as men we just like like what i say goes type of thing not and not even in that that aspect of it of coming from like what i say goes it's just like i know i ain't doing nothing wrong so i can i can move how i move i don't have to tell you my every step but when you're in a relationship woman wants to know every single thing and it's not because they trying to check 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 behind you like they're your moms it's just that they want to feel involved in a part of whatever's going on. 
So next time, how I can make that situation better is by simply just over exerting myself, just over communicating, you know what I'm saying? Just letting her know, like, yo, like um I was I went up to Britney Crib, you know what I'm saying? We had a great meeting, you know what I'm saying? And not even just Shout that. Out to my baby Brett. It could be anything. It could be a, a a random meeting that I feel like wasn't important. Just you know, so when I get in the, when I get in the car, just shoot a text real quick. Hey, babe, I just went to this meeting. It was dope. Da da da. Now she feels involved. She don't feel like she's getting anything out of, out of the blue. So that was what I got from the last conversation. Oh boy, I could take you in the room right now. Oh my god. Oh shit. That's all you see. That's all it takes, right there. All right. I mean, let me say. Let me say, let me say, let me say something else. I learned. <laughs> 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 Come on, tell us what, 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 did, what did you get from I, the conversation? Okay, about? so um, I just am swooning. So um, something that I learned is, you know, everything, you know, something that Jay's taught me from the beginning, everything doesn't look like what it is. Like, so, you know, you come from these previous relationships of you may be harboring feelings that, you know, you've seen something. So you say, like, I've seen this before, so I know what this is, right? Mm -hmm. But something, everything you see is not what it always is because the person, it depends on the person's intent and who you're dealing with. You know, so something I'm learning is to react less and come conversational instead of confrontational. Uh oh, you better talk that shit, girl. Come on, you know what I'm so, saying? You know what I mean? So we're gonna address issues. Like if something hurts my feelings or bothering me, come in an understanding place like babe i'm not saying this is how you are i'm not saying this is who you are just hear me out and we could talk about it because you know you got to know your partner and their intent and i also have learned that you know either way i was good like there was nothing to worry about and you got to trust that and you can't if you are with your partner and you are looking to have this profound relationship, you gotta trust your partner. And you know, I just wanna make sure that he also always knows that it's not that I don't trust you, it just feels uncomfortable. Mm. And getting better at expressing my uncomfortableness instead of just, you know, being reactive. So it could definitely help the situation. Okay. You wanna take me in a room too? See, that's the expectation okay. shit. <laughs> but like, there we go. Through with the we, resolution. You know what I'm saying? You let's know what I'm saying? Snap for that one time. Yeah, let's snap. Let's snap let's, for that one ooh, time. Oh, I like that we're snapping. <laughs> Uh, I like that. Yes. All right. So that's okay. Let's get the potting. Let's now. get potting. All right, I actually on. grown to love that word potting. All right, yeah. I didn't like it in the beginning. Like, what the fuck is potting? But mm. I felt like a frog sitting on like a pod, like two peas in a pod. But now I love potting. It's giving me the Gemini Scorpio show. Okay. So okay. So we are at our talking points, and you want to start? You want me to start? What you want? You can go ahead. Go All right, boom. So my talking point today is should women tone down their sexy in a relationship? Uh uh, I don't think so. Uh 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 uh. I don't think so. Really? Nah. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Do you think? Do you think? I feel like you should be yourself, you know what I'm saying? And um be yourself at all times and if the, th the person can't accept it, then they will eventually go their separate ways and right. it's not meant to be. However, if you're if this is how you are mm -hmm. for the full fact, I know that to keep it honey. Right. I know that before I got with you. Right. So for See, me to you, expect when you anything, met me, I had my ass out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So for me to, I didn't. But you know, it came along the way because we met in the winter. So I ain't have time to have my ass out. But as soon as the summer hit, I had my ass out. Just saying. <laughs> you know, <laughs> ass <right>. out. <laughs> no me. Summertime flex. Yeah, so, so in, that, in, that, in that case, if you meet a girl in the wintertime. <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's, but I, so it's, it's kind of crazy because I relate that conversation to weave, right? If I meet you one way, all I'm saying is if I meet you one way and then I get into the relationship and it's something different, then I might have some pushback. Okay. But if I met you with your ass out and I'm coming in, I'm like, wait, I don't like that. But you didn't meet me with my ass out. Yeah. In the summer, I put my ass out. Right, but I'm, wait. We, huh? <laughs> what? I'm saying that. If I meet you with your ass out, okay. I can't have no expectations of you putting your ass away. I lied because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't February. And I definitely, um, we went to the club for my friend's birthday. I definitely had my ass out, but it was a long sleeve. But it was ass out. Your ass wasn't out if it was, if it was long. No, because my long sleeves were long, but the ass was definitely out. You had no ass, girl. I just gave you the ass. You ain't had no ass. You skinny as shit. <laughs> Cut it out. You know what gave you the ass? I just am. <laughs> <laughs> this is long. <laughs> <laughs>
Hold on, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say, okay, okay, okay. Everybody just relax. First of all, yes, I was rather skinnier. I did put on some happy weight. Right. However, I've always had an ass. Don't get it fucked up. Come on. Cause Girl, I, remember, I went I to your family your I, family I event. You. And listen, so she's Jamaican, right? I went to our family event and even her It was aunts. my grandmother funeral, oh, so sheesh. respect I'm sorry. my family I'll probably, event. Well, right. that makes it worse because I went to a grandmother funeral and her, 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 her aunts come. Yeah, you have no ass. Like, you can't be a part of this family. Where your ass at? <laughs> okay, so hold on, hold on. Let me clear. Because all her I aunts is fat as shit. Ass, but my aunt's ass is just ass. Like, they got a whole ass. Colossal. Like, they got a moon Big ass. Big booty, like, I just had, you know. Fat ass. Little ass. You know. Ass, ass, I, I ass, mean, ass, ass. ass. ass looking at? I mean, I, shit, this shit was filling up the room. I came in, boom, <laughs> bye. I was right there. Like, like, that's, all right, so first and foremost, yes, my family got ass. You know, we Caribbean, we carry a lot of ass. I but had the baby ass. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So but my ass was that. But now I got a moon ass. Because it you is. You know what I'm saying? Right now. So you are out of body <laughs> right now. So first of all, yeah. Point is, baby ass or moon ass, I had it out. It wasn't so, out. It wasn't shit to be out. Where? I looked for it. I went past, right past it. Oh, it's right there. My bad. Now that shit is. That's wild. Look, googly moogly. That ass is juicy. <laughs> all right, boom. So, All right, so to get to the, to get no, to the I don't think I don't think women should tone down that sexy. It's crazy though, because I feel like a lot of women actually do battle that with significant others. Like I actually, in prior relationships, had a problem. Like you know what I mean? I in prior, think, I thought it was no exes. How you had a prior relationship? You talked about your ex on the last episode. So what we're not about to go do is like you talked about how your ex was a bottle girl. So I can mention an ex then. Are you right? You right? You right? All right, right, right. So don't. So all I'm saying is I um. You know, I've had a relationships where, and I think a lot of women channel this, that, that men channel their sexy. So one time I remember it was Halloween and my job did this like casino boat ride. Mm -hmm. And me and my friend was like, okay, she was going to be a police officer. I was going to be a paratrooper, but it was like a one piece. But at that time, as you know, I wasn't that big. So like certain things I feel like I could wear that maybe not everybody could wear because I wasn't as lumptuous. Like at that time, like now I put on a one piece, it's got boom, 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 boom. But then it was just like, you know, I'm here. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not. Too, but like I remember my exes had problems like, yo, why would you wear that, you know, to a work event or why would you like, you know, what I'm saying or even in the summer, just like, you know, I don't like a lot of clothes in the summer. It'd be hot. I got a lot of legs. I don't want to do that. So I know that, you know, I've had previous relation, you know, relationships where it was like, why? Like, what do you want to dress like that for? Like, but I feel like if I'm sexy, I'm sexy. Like if it intimidates you, turn yours up, get your confidence up. We're good. So. What the fuck are oh, you snoring for? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm what the listening. fuck? My hookah tip's flying out because you're snoring. Like, what are you snoring for? Because I just feel like... What? Yeah. So, but I feel like women do deal with that, though. Like, channeling, you know, dealing with men who don't allow them to be their full sexy self. I think that people need to realize that sexy is not does not coincide with offensive. Mm. Like, some women are just sexy. Like, me... You know what I mean? You can put on anything. Like, some women don't even have to be in something. But when we put on... Booty shorts or crop top or like a little bralette out in the summer. It's like, oh, she. Some you know girls don't like, be even doing that. Some girls be wearing whole fucking lingerie. Like, I'd be like, the club. Sure, like, sure, like, you know, damn well, you need to go to sleep in that. Like, come on. But my boy. thing is, I still don't even get offended. Like, I think if you, whatever you feel your best in, if that makes you feel good, look good, if that's what, do you? Yeah, like, whoa, whoa. What? Hold up. I got to Not whatever. Up. Not whatever. <laughs> Cause some girls don't be wearing shit. The girls be wearing their titties all out. Like say that for me. Like I remember at one point in time in life when, as a man, getting getting nude, getting news and getting videos was like a trophy. It was like yeah, like she trusts me to send me a nude and she trusts me to send me a video of her doing her thing. Nowadays you got OnlyFans, you got fucking, mm -hmm. you got the shit on Twitter, the shit on Instagram. So it's like you send me a nude, you gotta you gotta step your cookies up because it's like. At that point, it's everywhere. Right. You want to see a naked body? Fair, like, fair. So I don't think it is a. Let's 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 tread lightly well, I, on I, that. But I do think like how you say like, if you came like I think some men will get with a girl like that, right? And mm -hmm. then through the relationship, like, nah, nah, nah. Because niggas got the game whatever. fucked up. Like, like I, I think Kanye and Kim experienced that. Remember? So he was like saying to her now, you know, because he's in his transition of. You know, he has his Sunday services and he's doing his worship of God. He's like, you know, I know I came with you and you fucked Ray J on camera. Everybody knows. But I now. I don't think he said that shit. Come on. What the <laughs> fuck? Like, he didn't say. It ain't I mean, go like that. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, I know I mean, you fucked Ray J. I mean, you came in like a porn star, but we're married now. So you're no porn star no more. I think that is because he, to me, like when he asked her to tone, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, Kim Kardashian being a model in, in the fashion industry, it was like, you know, you can't be out here in these bikinis every week and whatever. But honestly, he met her as a porn star. Yeah. So, um, I don't think she's a porn star. She just made a sex tape, which sex tape, porn sure star. You, you might as well do the as same as well. thing. What? I know you made a sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> What are we talking about? Excuse me. What the fuck are you talking about? That escalated quickly. That escalated quickly. Right. You're like, but my, so but even a, it, it, hi, hi, hypothetically, I mean, hypothetically, I did make a video, right? All I'm saying is, what? it's never going I mean, live. What? So You don't know that? Because this nigga probably still holding on to good memories. I'm going to fuck around get famous one day. Be like, yeah, I got something that's going to fuck this nigga up. <laughs> mm, upload. I mean, if it turns me into Kim K, baby, we are all right. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm just joking. No, come on. <laughs> come on. Like, stop. Don't do that. Are you just doing that for fun? <laughs> do what? For <laughs> viewers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is some love and hip hop type shit. No, I'm being Like, come on. So you being I'm, serious? Being serious nigga, about what? If a nigga, if it turns you into Kim K. Oh, no, I was just playing. Guys. I can see you. I like it. Now you're <laughs> Baby, I got why you got come on sip cheers come on relax that's what's crazy about you all right back to the shit that's crazy all right. don't cheers me down see that's the fucking thing i do you ain't change you just came in here like you change no no, no you ain't change you ain't change all right all right nah, real talk though um mm. off that shit what I, to answer your question mm. yeah they came into the relationship with like like that right however i mean nothing stays i would hope not you know what i'm saying the only thing you keep doing the same thing, you get the same results. That's insanity. So I hope with growth, he will be able to have that conversation and say, yo, um, you know, I'm here. I don't like that. You get what I'm saying? Let's try to go this way. It's all about delivery and how you communicate. It. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying, if you get into a relationship, don't just come into the relationship like, yeah, sure. You got to make these changes and these changes. And these changes. Wait, first of all, you need to fall apart, right. my nigga. Okay, so what I, I feel like in every relationship is certain things that people stop. So how do you decide what to stop? Like for your spouse, like activities, vices, like whatever it is, right? Whatever you want to stop, whatever you deem is. What if your ex? What, yeah, ex, what is? I'm sorry. What if your spouse? <laughs> why are you giving me the eye guys, nigga? Mm. Nigga just gave me the eye turner look. <laughs> so what's my protection bag? Because I know it's in here somewhere. I'm listening. So what? How do you know? Like, so what if you're doing your vice or something that you like to do? Is something that your spouse doesn't like that you do. Like smoking like, crack. <laughs> what if I... I, wait, I mean... I mean, some girls sure. sniff lines. You know what I'm saying? Go to Hollywood it's not me. Line. I don't sniff line. Not judging you if you do, because I do smoke weed. <laughs> not judging. I'm I just didn't want to say that, because I, I mean, I ain't know... Okay, Jake. Like okay. smoking weed. I right, smoking weed. Or oh, excessively oh, smoking exce weed. So how, like, how does that play a part? Like, what do you do? Like, how do you come about that? Because, you know, there might be just something that you just don't like about me. Like, what do we do? So again, it goes back into uh, really accepting accepting things, right? And when you talk, when we talk about this accepting things, a lot of times it get lost in translation and lost in relationships because we want to do, we want to prove to ourselves, or we want to be that right person for that for the person. And you know, I was having a few conversations, and an old head said some, something that made a lot of sense. He was like, "As long as it's respectable and it's something that you deem that you're doing for you, and it's not to hurt anybody else, be." your authentic self no matter what right. because what happens is doing that you force your significant other to accept you and if they don't accept you at least you know now and y'all part your ways and it's like okay no harm no foul like but the more you try to prove right. the more you go against the grain it's not really right. going against the grain it's really just going back right. to your normal self because right. you're no longer it's like that's not who i was when i front first place so right. a year you go through you go through a year and you're like doing these things to like you know for her to love yeah for her to love you Two years, you might might start dwelling it off a little bit, and then three years, it's like, man, that wasn't me from the, right. You know, we we together, so I don't gotta do that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I always encourage just be your authentic self because <laughs> if you be your authentic self, y'all can really grow together and then grow as friends because you know who I am. So if I'm a grimy nigga and you see I'm a grimy nigga and you choose to accept me, then guess what? That's where we are with it. Right. If you are a crackhead and you smoke crack all day and that's you want to get highs and you know what I'm saying and whatever and smoke weed or whatever it can be then I know that and I can't judge you because right. I stayed to accept you, that right do you think that's why a lot of like couples will grow apart because yeah. sometimes yeah, yeah. 
Hell yeah. Like, you know, they they come in, somebody's like somebody, but like they're growing, mm -hmm. right? They're growing through life and they want to, I don't know, walk in like this righteous, more righteous self, right? And as they're elevating, kind of like Kanye, like he's going into his Sunday services. But you see what Kim Kardashian wearing now, though. Yeah, for sure. All right, yeah, let's, let's not yeah, get it fucked no, up. No, 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 I get it. You yeah, know what I'm shout out to you, Kanye. Kanye. You know Kudos to Kim. That's when you, when you lay it down, they come around. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's my saying right there. When you lay it down, they come around. So... You tell her put some fucking clothes on. Period. She say no, I ain't back. I will see you tonight. <laughs> Tomorrow, clothes <laughs> on. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Simple as that. That's simple. Are you trying to say that works? I mean, it's like it does. It's like okay. Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying, so so that's a great point. Mm -hmm. So, um, is there something that I do that you would like me to stop, or not stop that you you're growing against? I'm just curious. Uh, nah, not really. I know it's tons of things I do that you want me to. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> but nah, for me, I mean, it's just like, nah. I mean, well, if I could say anything, I would just say like, just let me be me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, stop pointing out everything. Like, not. I mean, I, I, I'm not. I that's not say. fair. <laughs> that's not fair to say. It's not every because you don't point you. out everything. Stop pointing out things that that's just who I am, right? But right. again, I gotta learn how to to grow and okay. to grow through them as well. So right. to answer it, I'll say no, not really, because okay. I you here to make me a better man, baby. Has it been working? You make me better. Has it been working? Yeah, babe. Oh, of yeah. course. No, he's being sweet. So yeah, so to I answer your question, no, I don't think women should uh, dumb down their sexy in a relationship. Yeah. And I, I, I definitely don't think women should because I think at the end of the day, sometimes people, like, I think men and people just have to realize, you know, I think even sometimes girls get offended by other girls being, you know, too sexy or things like that. And I think that, you know, be your authentic self. Like, sometimes women ain't being sexy for nobody but themselves. Like, a lot of times when I feel like getting dressed or I feel like, you know, doing what I do, it's for me. Like, I just feel like I just want to be cute and I just want to do my thing. It doesn't mean that, you know, I'm trying to, get attention or it doesn't mean that I'm doing this for men or doing this even for the ladies. I'm doing it for myself. Some, some things it's okay to be sexy. Like I want to get away from the notion that like women think like, you know, if you got on a thong kini, it's like, it's too much. Like, first of all, some women like to travel overseas and they want to put on a fucking thong kini. It doesn't mean sometimes women worked out and got a gym and want to feel good about themselves. Like, stop judging people. Stop looking at them in a way like, why you, you know, why her titties all out, bitch? Because I got titties. Because let me tell you, when I get these teacups done, baby, they out here. Let me tell y'all something, yo. What? So I seen this girl on Instagram. She got her titties done. So I sent it to my girl because we talk about that shit, right? My girl catch an instant attitude. Like, oh, all right. Now he does Like, why you, like, sit? I'm, I'm like. That's not what happened. That's not what happened, first of all. What you're not going to do is give him the camera, act like that's what happened. What happened was, he showed me them one time. I was like, oh, no, that's nice. You know what I'm saying? I would want mine's a little bigger. I think she was less, less, less than an A. Like, she had really small titties. And um, <clears throat> she only got, like, a small, small, size small. I was like, oh, that's just cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want a whole C towards, not D, but, like, C full. We ain't talking about that shit. But that's what I want. A C. All right. Okay. Like, a nice C, like. I mean, B is cool, but I'm a, you see, you want to see, you can see. So. Uh, so you know whatever but it was cool the first time then he goes show me and i'm again i'm like damn how much are you looking at this bitch's titties like what are you trying to imply here? no i'm just like, saying you keep looking at the titties this is the second time we're talking about it. i mean you like her titties that much like bc you know what i'm saying like, like, i man, mean honestly i thought it was bitch page like why are you looking at her titties so much i'm not on her page just she i follow her so oh so she keeps showing her titties you gotta keep showing to me every time they go oh, titties I, no, because I thought they were. This is uh, so crazy. What do you ask me about this or that question? Because it's like I thought it was a. I thought it was. A, I thought like, it was a good size. I'm like, you know what? Like, babe, that would look good on you. Me, I, like, if I saw some nails, if I saw some shoes, if I saw some hair, I'll be like, babe, I think that look good. I think you. Should. But you could never go tell a nigga like, you know, babe, like. Don't ever say nigga. that again. Exactly. Like, babe. Don't even stop. Don't even. Look at this nigga. Don't even. Look at this nigga. Please stop. This stop. Nigga beard. Shut it. Look at this nigga beard. All right. That's you like this nigga beard, babe. Look at this nigga beard. He'd be like, this nigga beard. Why are you looking at this nigga beard? Like, come on. So go ahead and lie. No? Here we go back to double standards. I'm trying to no, say this yeah, shit. Yeah, double standards is life, so. Man, go to your topic, because I already feel like you already, you already, look, you seen his face scrunched up soon as I'm like, look at this beard, babe. Look at this beard. Look at this beard. All come right, here. so speaking of, so double, we could talk double standards, because this is double standards too. So uh, we're talking about threesomes and relationships. First and foremost, how, hmm, how do I start this conversation? So it's like, mm. If I feel like we already talked about threesomes and relationships, what are the rules to threesomes? Who chooses the girl? Is it the guy? Is it the girl? First of all, is threesomes okay in a relationship? <laughs> because you just skip past the whole. I mean, I feel like after last week, case by case. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, all right. So, uh, I, all right, Alex. All right, all right, all right. All right I feel all like right. after last week, I mean, you done put it all out there. But I mean, anyway, Sorry, whatever. Again. Whatever. So threesomes in relationships. All right, boom. If you're okay with the threesome in a relationship, how do you go about this threesome? <clears throat> who cho- who is to choose the woman first of all? How do we talk about the threesome conversation? Mm. How does how who brings that up? Like or or not who brings it up or how does the threesome conversation go? Bay, uh, I want to have another girl in the bedroom. Or Bay, we can go get a girl. I mean, oh, to, like, for me, it would be like, you ever had a threesome? Like, is that something you would you, you would think about doing? To me, that's how I would, I would go. All right, so in case y'all want to know, I had my first threesome with Jay. <laughs> you know, we had that conversation. So so it's funny because I'm like, we already had the conversation. But, but once Jay, it's said, it's like, shit, damn. But, like, right, I wasn't, now, so now we want to talk about it. First of all, Jay been having wild orgies. Whoa. So don't. <laughs> Jay been doing his thing. So it was my first. Jay been. Jay been having wild five some six some <laughs> like all that. Why well, I me mean, sit the fuck down? Like hype, get the fuck. So <laughs> hype yeah, over nigga. here. Jay been having. Who say yeah, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Jay been having wild orgies, right? So I already understand this is already a big step for me because all I can see is like Ugh, he had this all the time with all type of bitches because you know he was a wild nigga in college and shit. So. You know, don't. Oh, you sipping? Let me sip too. Come on. All right, so okay, I was waiting for you to finish. You you started it. You ain't going nowhere. So you just said we. Finish? You said go we. Ahead, had, go ahead, go ahead, finish it. I just wanted to make it clear. All right, my, so had my first three with Jerome. Whoa. I mean Jay Hill. Sorry, we could bleep that out. Just, bleep. No, that's all good. So anyway, how do you like? So how does that? I guess your first one. Like, how would you want it to go? How would you want the conversation to go? So, me personally, I'm a in the moment type of person. So, I don't want, I don't, I think it's weird to plan those type of things. Like, I think it's just weird to be like, you know, oh, hey, go scope her. Like, and I'm gonna tell you why. He might never, this might be a story he heard for the first time. So, too. So, he might not like this. What? Hold on, just relax. What the Come fuck? On. You better not tell me. Drink, no. drink, drink. <clears throat> so, what happened was, I remember, <clears throat> I was so, at the time, I used to work two jobs, right? And one of my second jobs where I love my day job, I used to work at Cheesecake Factory as a waitress all through college, right? So working at, th- uh, working at Cheesecake Factory, it was a couple who used to work together. I'm not going to put no names. Like, whatever. So I remember one time they gave me a ride home. We all used to go to this bar after our shift, like, whatever. And, they, and the girl almost, like, tried me to, like, warm me up, like, you know what I'm saying? And I remember I was just like, uh, ew, ew, ew. And I remember I did make a big thing about it. I feel bad now because, you know, Jay kind of set me up for the same thing. So now I'm like, damn, that's what, you know, people do. So long story short, like, you know what I'm saying? They had, I was in the back seat, and I remember the girl, like, jumped in the back seat. The nigga was driving, whatever. And, like, I thought, I don't know why she jumped in the back seat because, you know me, I'm just going home. At this point, at this time of my life, too, I was probably a little naive to this situation, so I didn't see it coming. So I'm in the back seat, just thinking I'm going home. We pull up to the gas station, she jump in the back seat. So I'm like, oh, maybe she's drunk, like whatever, boom. So we're driving, and you know, Shorty started moving my hair, planting my hair, and I'm just at like, at that Ooh. point, you know what the fuck is going on. Cut the shit. Hold on, man. at that time, yeah, okay, I can't time stand out, time the out, time story. Time out, time out, time out. You don't have to stand it, but I'm gonna tell you, like, one thing I'm not is I'm not about to lie on it. So, because you know, people watch podcasts, you know, she might be watching. So, you know, and. You good, girl. Does she look good? No, she cute. Got a little fat butt. She cute, right? She still but, a little? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm joking. I'm now, joking, I'm joking. married to this guy. I mean. So, I think, I believe. They were, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. She liked you. No, no, no. So, my, baby, no. you know, she started planting my hair, so then she tried to kiss me, and I instantly was like, whoa, whoa. But I just never forget, like, the nigga looking through <laughs> the middle mirror. He like, so, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, it, this shit throw he me off. He tried to text, like, at like him. Right, so he keep looking so. I, you know, you catch that eye contact shit. I could. She's like coming over this way, trying to kiss. I just, I don't know. I never forget this. Like I remember looking forward, and I see him in the mirror, just like you just see eyes, just like yeah. So I'm like, oh nah, I feel attacked. So like you know, I instantly was like, hold on, like you know what I'm saying, like get off of me, like what's, what's going on? So boom, I think she got awkward, and you know they took me home. It was no hard feelings. Guess whatever, what? Whatever. Did you get that ride home? I did get right home. Then if she was a little more, if she was a little more cooler. That threesome probably would have happened because I feel like if it if here it, go Jay here he I'm goes. just if it was me it would have happened nah nah, no nah I ain't said nah I ain't said I would have knew how to I ain't up saying the I'm just saying if you I would have made sure she nah you. nah I'm not I would have made sure I she ain't, you. I ain't even saying that what that's you clearly saying? you I'm you saying, saying that if I ain't want that threesome or if I ain't want that I'm out the car Pull but they over. weren't hold on they weren't trying to date rape me like they just 
You know, since she tried it, uh, you I, know, I was pushed off us, and you know, they let it be what it is. We, boom, we went to work like it was normal. But I remember feeling at that time like, damn, these this couple just tried to fucking get me. Right. Long story short, it's not the first time I've seen a couple try to scout me out, right? Cool. So, boom. All that to say is, I don't weird. like. I think it's weird. And like, I think, you know what I'm saying? I think it's weird to do it that way, right? Now, what I do think is like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. We out, we having a good time, or even on vacation or whatever. It's just drunk, it's lit. You know, I'm girls are around because I do get hit on by women a lot, more than I ever. I don't know why. Because that ass. Like, I always thought maybe girls thought I had like a gaydar. On that my ass face. fat. Whatever, but I get hit on by girls a lot. So like, you know, we drunk in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, it's different. Like, hold up, hold up. Nah, you ain't about to do me like that. Yeah, we did the threesome thing. What? What's up? What's up? What you got this face on for? What's up? What? Shout out, you been fucking bitches. Oh, Cut man. the shit, man. Come on, man. Like, I just thought about it. Like, I'm come about on. To, I'm about to get off the podcast. Right. Like, you no, know, it was not... great. The Gemini Scorpio podcast. <laughs> Thank you for episodes, you know, 14, 0, 14. Like, come on. You know, on. we're going to wrap this up right now. You probably got we're more gonna, bitches than me. We're going to wrap this up right now. First of all, Jay. I wasn't been fucking bitches. Like, you're not going to say that on camera because that sounds inappropriate, first of all. This shit, all this whole thing is inappropriate. You can throw the whole shit away for real because everything might, is inappropriate. Uh, all right, we might not post this one. No, I'm just saying. Like, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. So, first of all, no, I so had to. That, 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 let's, let's keep it. You know what I'm saying? Threesome and dealing with bitches by myself. All right, cool. Two Fair. separate you things. You probably had. No, I am not gay, ladies. I'm fully straight. However, I have dabbled here and there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I think we all had our little experiences. I haven't had no Never. experience. Double stare. Yeah, it's, please. I have no fucking experience. We yeah. have no experience. What you mean? You said we all had like we know we did not. I'm not talking about you because you dealt with it. I'm talking about you, women. You, oh, all right. so say woman we had that yeah. dealt with. You all know, right, ex, yeah. you know, whatever. Yes, you know, whatever. Fine. I'm not saying Is that. that. Ladies. All right. Never oh mind. God. Never mind. Never mind. Never My mind, brother then walked in the goddamn. <laughs> this shit on YouTube anyway. He can go look at this shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My brother have it right now. You know yeah, I gotta see the smirk on my brother. My brother just looked like, e, uh, with me at the pun. E. Like, he just, he just looked at me like, oh, God, Mom, I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, so about that, yeah. So, but- let's get to the shit. How do we, how do we, have, the, how do, how do we have the conversation? Like, again, I'm just an in-the-moment mo- in person. I think me and Jay bumped heads a couple of times because he thinks it's supposed to be, I'm about to go scout. I'm going to go scout. <laughs> Where you at? Where you at? You know what I'm saying? And I'm well, like... I found out that, you know, that's not how she wanted, you know what I'm saying? And respect, you know what I'm saying? This nigga Jay thought it was a every weekend thing. He was like, every weekend I'm just going to scout. Like, you do, like, we're just going to go out. We're just going to go scout. Right, so, uh, so, and that's not so, what the fuck... Fair. Hell no. So let's get into, to me, that's not even an every weekend thing. Like, what do you not. think this is? So in, in, this, in the moment, right? How, what makes you comfortable? What What is a do not do in that moment? Do not just bring a girl to me and be like, hey, babe, this is. Now I'm talking, we already, we already did. All right. In that moment. What? What should you not do? Like, cause you know, some guys might give her a little bit more attention than, you know what I'm saying? Because. Oh, uh-huh. no. I, like, what's, no. What's a do not, what's a. This is a. Jeez, let me just step in my mature bag because I'm about to be immature. So first of all, <laughs> so first of all, what I'm gonna say is, Deshaun, go in the room. What are you saying? <laughs> say, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> so you, I'm just joking. Come, come, come. You know, my brother, me and my brother close. It's all good. So for starters, like, no, the one thing I will say about Jay and my first experience, it was actually great. Like he knew exactly the amount of attention to not give, to give. You know what I'm saying? Because if it was any bit more, we probably would all been fighting because I'm not with the shits. Like, what the fuck, douche. What are you doing? Like, you know what I mean? But, you know, because I have heard instances where, you know, girls had threesomes and the guy, she came back in the room and the guy was just like fucking the girl and she was upset. Yeah, no, couldn't be me. But um, I think there definitely has to be, this is for us and not for me. Mm. Kind of, mm-hmm. you know, thing going on, right? This is for us, mm-hmm. not my pleasure, not just my pleasure. And basically, if you're not entertaining my girl, how you're entertaining me? Because Jay, well, what Jay won't tell you is, Girls will do it for Jay just because it's Jay. <laughs> like, and you know. girls will do it for Sade because it's Sade. Cut All the right. shit, man. Cut the shit. What I'm trying to say is they'll just That's be down. That's what I'm saying. 
they'll be down, you know what I'm saying? But it's really for their own, you know, beneficial yeah, gain. Fair. Like, you know what I'm Thank saying? Fair. You. Like, all right, fine. I won't put it on person, person. But like, you know, and I think it's fair to say for the guy too, you can't have the girl, girl just into, you yeah, know, your yeah. girl. Like, y'all might as well go play 2K at this point because yeah. the girl's just, and the girl's and, just doing their thing. And you just standing there like, all right, mm-hmm. dick swinging. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? So, yeah, about that. <laughs> so, you know, period. What do you think, babe? No, I think, um, <laughs> I think... You got to be just in that moment. You got to be extra cautious. You got to be extra attentive. You know what I'm saying? Make sure. And in, in those moments, you want to care for your woman even more. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to show her that, like, babe, I'm with you. This is just an experience. She's our hoe. Facts. Nah, like, That's how I got to be. Like, she's our like, hoe. To keep it 100. This is like, our slut. Like, to be honest. To be honest. Perform. Like, say. Like, to Sorry. be honest, like, I always wanted to, like. What the fuck are you about to say? <laughs> so like to me, right? Because no, nah, I'm it's on that it's on a level of that. To me, I even I even don't mind if my girl get a strap. You know what I'm saying? Cuz at that point it's like we homies. You know what I'm Tag saying? Team. You know what I'm saying? Like like Eskimo at that, bros. Nah, I'm, yeah, so at that, <laughs> at that point it's like yo, we homies, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Dog this bitch out, you know what I'm saying? I'm about, we gonna dog this bitch out together. Like that's how I look at it. Tag so it's like, team. Yeah. What the fuck? I've never used a strap on. That that shit don't help me out. The fuck? That's... It's the, for the experience. I get all right, it. I get it. But I'm all just saying, right, like, cool. you know what I'm saying? Like, because we in here together, it ain't about this chick. You know what I'm saying? It's all about right. us, and we're bringing her into our space because we want something, not because... We're, ex- we're experimenting. Or not even, not even that, or just not because an individual wants something. We want this together. That's what we're going to do. And if she ever go left, then she's going to get the fuck out the crib. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 you, know, you know, and I definitely think, you know, <laughs> I never, when me and Jay uh, experienced our first time, whatever, he put me in the shower. He was like, let's wash your sins off. So, <laughs> like, you know, wash our sins off. Like, yeah, whatever. Like, you know what I'm this is what I will say, right? Um, on some real shit, I definitely think you have to be in the right mental space mm-hmm. to have a threesome. Because it's really not for the weak-minded. Like, I think that you definitely have to be fully in your own sexy, in your own bag. You know what I'm saying? I definitely think, like, you know, I remember turning, you know, not turning over, but, like, I remember looking up, you know, and I was watching Jay, and I was like, oh, this looks exciting. But I don't think that I would have looked at it like that in another mental space. Like, you know what I'm saying? slaying. Like, by the way. You are really out of just. You are really showing off, like really showing I'm off. I'm joking. So, um, you can joke about what, what, what? Bitches kissing on you in the back seat. Hmm. So all that to say, you know, I definitely think you need to be in the right mental space for it because, like, you know, I would not recommend. Like, this is not something I'm telling people to go do. What I'm saying is, sometimes, you know, me and Jay got a different type of bond. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, honestly, to be honest, I'm makeup a, oil on your lips. I'm gonna keep it honey. Let me get through that. I wouldn't suggest it to no other couple. Come here, come here. Let me get you right. Just cut that out on camera. Um, <laughs> so uh, all that to say is, yeah, I wouldn't suggest it either. It's not something I'm thinking because honestly, I don't think every female can handle it. I'm just being a honey. Every man can handle like, it. Let's not get it fucked okay, up. Okay, period. Too. Because niggas right. get to be horny. They get to the, get to try and call her, try and find her. Like you yeah, dragging it like down. exactly. Like, and I definitely think like you know, I don't think it's any instances where outside of the relationship that the couple should be reaching out to the. Like yeah. on any side, like nah. we shouldn't be having no personal, you know, no names. But I remember the girl like texted Jay and I separately. Was like, oh my god, that was like the best experience of my life. Like, bitch, why are you texting us? We know. Because that shit was the, the best fuck? experience of our life. Right, we know what the <laughs> fuck happened. Saying? Don't text us separately. Like, what do you? Who we're not even supposed to talk. About- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. Cause you dropped that clip. I'm like, <laughs> First, that I don't that. drop clip. <laughs> you know, you drop that shit down. You don't drop clip. I just, I mean, you know what I'm saying? All right, whatever. I'm joking, baby. All right. We just joking. All right, all right, all right. All right. Like, we, these, can, we can move on. All right, boom. So, threesomes wouldn't recommend it to everybody now. If you what have a you, different type, you know, me, I think Jay and I both are just like, you know, very sexual beings, but we're open. She's Scorpio. We're open, you know what I'm saying, together as a couple, you know what I'm saying? We're willing to try things, you know what I'm saying, to keep the relationship exciting and these things, you know, but, we, you know, on our own terms, we do our thing by ourselves. Like, you know. Whoa, that sounds kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh, no, we do our thing by ourselves. Like, together. Like, oh, yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah, not nah. like. So, in, so in, 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 in conclusion, uh, we would suggest that it's in a moment. In the moment. Don't be go kept- scouting out for your girl because that can be very, because it's almost like. What are you looking for? Because is this man, about you? Like, what are you looking for? Like, I definitely think it should really be the female's preference. I'm very picky. <laughs> I am. And I'm not going to say that on camera. Girl. 
Don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with my name like that. Don't ever disrespect me like that. I, I'm not gonna say that. Okay. <laughs> so all that to say is, you know, I'm very picky. Every right, time I brought a bitch through the hood, they're like, "Damn, don't play with me." All right, don't put, don't play that on my name. Cause you look good, right? So I mean. So the one that we did pick, you know what I'm saying? That wait, was wait, a wait, setup. Wait, 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 talking about none of that. Oh, okay, boom. So long story short, you know, all I'm saying is I'm very picky. I was talking about so, something else. Oh, what you was talking about? I was saying my name. Yeah, now your name good. Credit it. So, you know, all that to say, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely the female's choice as well. Like, the female got to feel comfortable. She can't be, just don't throw her in no trick bag. Like, babe, I'm setting this up for us. Like, no, the fuck you're not because Fair. this is about you. Like, and what as about, a man, uh, yeah, you don't want to, and you don't want that work because yeah. then the female's going to feel like, what are you doing behind my back? Fair. You know, I remember one time Jay <laughs> called me after the club, like, yeah, like, trying to temperature check me to set up a situation. I hear girls in the back. He was like, no, I was doing that for us. No, the fuck you weren't because I wasn't even there. So respect, you know, and as a man in the act, you always want to um just be extra cautious and be extra affectionate to your woman. You want to pay the most attention in this situation because if the slightest thing can be off, if your girl make the 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 look, you know what I'm saying, a side eye, you want to be able to come back and you know what I'm saying, well, you got show this her. Down, pack down, pack. No, I'm just saying, I'm, babe, you gave your, you know what I'm saying, and I'm giving mine. You, know what you got saying? this down, pack down, pack. I told you he been doing this. Ain't nothing new to him. He knew exactly. You know what? I bet you We're gonna first. talk about this because I feel trick bag because you knew what no, you you knew like let me not. That's not true. Let me Jay, Jay got a real strong mind. He was like, don't bet, give too much first. attention because of, you know bet, what I'm you're saying. My, that. Bet, you're my first girlfriend. I don't really like doing stuff like that, my girlfriend. Really? What nah. do you think? That's for hoes only. Yeah. So now what happened? Because now I feel nah, like I mean, a said we had a no. We had a we had a special bond. So that was special. Well. To conclude that. Moving on. Yeah, moving come on. on. <laughs> Get up so, to your, your shit. So now we got topics going on right now. We're we done. Topic. No, look, turn the topics. Get into this or that. No, it's not. It's Boy. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's all right. I didn't study the program. Okay, so boom. This or that topics. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So it is the segment where we do this or that. And I have a couple questions for Jay. And we're going to go to them right now. So, okay. Bae, mm -hmm. house in the hills or house in the city? In the hills. In the hills, I like that. Big old titties or big old ass? Big old ass. All right, now, your best friend or your lover? My lover. A hot girl or a city girl? Neither. No, that's not the game. You got to pick one or the other. A hot girl. All right, there we go. Dress it up sexy or dress it down sweat? Get sexy for me. Oh, I like that. Lips or eyes? Them pussy lips. <laughs> All right, cool. Is there lips? That lips, lips is, lips is lips. Them lips. Okay. If you had a choice, would you go back in time or place yourself in the future, and why? I'm going back in time. And why? I just want to live, honestly, some more. Just being real. You feel like you didn't live before? Nah, I live, but, like, life is just fucked up. I ain't gonna lie. Like, eh. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke, man. We ain't even say that. Like, I would, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, go back in time, because I just want to live as long as I can. I like that. I like that. If there was one song that reminds you of your life, what, what song would it be? One song? I can give you an album. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I said a song. Um, no, 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 no. If I can't. Do it, homie. It can't, can't be done. done. Cause I'm gonna let the champagne, champagne bottle pop. pop. I'm gonna take it to the top. Say, Show, I'm gonna make it hot, baby. 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 All yeah, right, all right, Fifty Cent. All right, boom. Yeah. There was my this or that. I got Which, one for you. All right, well, if you got this or that's for me. Yeah, yeah. I got this one. my segment. I got one. I got one for you. <clears throat> so, all right, when you go in the bathroom, right? <laughs> nah, not that. So, like, uh, when you go in the bathroom. Matter of fact, hey, can you do me a favor? Hey, hey, woman. Can you can you give me some toilet paper out of out of the Right there, right there, right there. Quick, 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 quick. Because I was taking a shit, right? Wow. And like the, the toilet paper ran out. And I was, um, so I was putting the toilet paper, I was putting the toilet paper on the roll. And I'm like, yo, I wonder what's your preference. So when you put the toilet paper, yes, because when you put the let me tell you something. So what's, yes. What's, so you rather this way 
Or you rather Let me tell you why Because Jay don't never refill the toilet paper Like every time I come in The toilet paper just sitting on top of the <laughs> The thing And I'm like nigga Are you going to put it in there So which and way you, a, Under Please look So you look, rather you rather I want it under Under too. Under too. Under right. So what You're supposed to roll this way. way Don't roll the other way Roll under Okay All I right. think that's a question I've never seen that question man. Yeah Under I, or over Under So Look under I like that too. Okay. So right. and, and, and and to remind you to do that, do it. You know what I mean? F- fill the roll. Don't just put it on top and then I gotta pick it up. Put put it on the little thing, you clip all it in the right, thing. All right. Under. All right, all right. Okay. All right. You rather all right. You rather head or penetration? Hmm. Well, I gotta go. Penetration. <laughs> Get the fuck. Cause that thing go deep. <laughs> Sorry, You're bro. showing off this joke, episode. You're gonna stop trying to tell people kiss, what what mm. what's that, what's that? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this this ain't regular. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got you feeling <laughs> this shit got me feeling like I'm drinking Hennessy. <laughs> So, 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 Honestly, I don't so, even right, like dealing with right, Jay off the Hennessy. So, so you rather in the bed, you rather Longer or shorter? Not not size wise, but I'm talking like in time wise. You rather long? Because I don't want to put no time on it. But like, you rather a longer time or a shorter amount of time? You rather just get to it, or you rather an hour or twenty minutes? I'm a twenty minutes type of girl. Now, real quick. Yeah. You chime in on that one. Come on, you can't Alex. Talk about that shit. Why am I girl right? I'm not. That he just like. Come all on, right, Alex. Alex, right. Alex, right. 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 Do you have expectations for more round, or is it like one long time? But you can't ask that question. You he's text asking me. you to ask the question. He text he me that shit. It's like, it's like, no, no, no. Monique told him to ask that. Monique, Monique said that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. So shorter, but long like through that whole short period so like 20 minutes one round is cool for me uh-huh. because i feel like if it ain't 20 if it's too long something's going on wrong, wrong with me what's okay. wrong with you like right, he bro. shouldn't be in here this long knock him out knock him out all right so that's okay. me okay that makes sense thank you. good question <laughs> that's that's I'll text you next time no worries. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm fucking with you i'm fucking with you i'm fucking all right so um so i had a, so it's funny i had a this or that right Right. I mean, I had a, uh, what would you do? Right. But then I thought about it like. You mm, mean like that? I like it, but I mean. All right, come on, give it to me. Let me tell you. What? So my, my, my what would you do is, if you caught your mother cheating on your father, would you tell your father? <laughs> um. Okay, so. Team mom, team dad, team mom, team dad. Team mom, team dad. Okay, so, oof. Mm. What would you do, bae? So, you know what I'm saying? I don't really fuck with the cheating shit in general, right? So I'm about to press dad out. You about to tell her? Because if you don't tell her, I'm going to tell her. Or we could do this together. You need my support? Because as long as you're honest, I can be supportive. But I don't like a liar. Mm. So if you lying to moms, look, I would rather you keep it 100 with her. Like, yo, I did this. Let me see that you're a real nigga. Because if you're going to lie and be a fuckboy about it, you're no longer a real nigga. And you're my dad. I don't think you want to not be a real nigga to me, your daughter. I'm taking a bread. Thanks, dad. Cash me out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're going to pay me off, okay, send me on a trip. I won't tell mom anything, but you better not do it again. Okay. What would you do? <laughs> if my pops cheated on my mom's, probably kick his ass. I like that. I can't <laughs> kick my dad's probably, ass. You got to square up with me? Yeah, what if I'm, your daddy can beat you, though? I mean, then... Yeah, I'll wash that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> niggas always think they can wash nah, their nah, dad. Nah, 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 no, it's funny because so niggas th- always think they can wash their dad, but whole time your dad got some shit on you. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. I think um, what I I think uh, I would. Do I could wash my mom. I would though. let him. I would let him know. I could definitely wash my mom. I, I would let my him know. My mom swear she could scare. I know damn well you taught me everything. You taught me you were your. Pr- I'm in my prime right now, and I be in the gym. <laughs> you know about this swing. Nah, I think so I would. Now. I would tell him. I'm like, yo, let moms know because if you don't, you know what I'm saying. Like, that's that mama boy shit. That's that. You just that's said the same exact shit. Oh, what? That you would tell him to let let her know, and if she she don't. What if he pay you off? I pr- I, I don't think there's no such thing. For guys, you don't think it's guys. You don't think guys you can't pay I'm a guy off. I'm good off the bread. You good off the bread? I mean, I'm. It's like I'm not good, but <laughs> right, I'm good. Right, right. Like, it's sure. like it's like. All right, son. I look, want I'll that, pay, but nah. I'll pay your next three months rent. Nah, bro. I'm sorry. Not for your next three months rent. Nah. 
You tell the moms for three months of rent? Stop lying. I don't think I'm gonna tell her, mom, but I'm like, if you don't tell her, I'm gonna have that conversation. If you don't pay my rent for three months, I'm gonna have that conversation. So honestly, I don't know. So to, to go to dive <laughs> to dive deep in it, um, see me, I don't like telling. So I probably be like, moms, that nigga ain't for you. And as a man, we always want you to take our word, but then she's like, why, why, why? I'm like, yo, right. just you listen to what the fuck I'm why, saying. But like, you know we just need don't answers. Mm, but nah. We gotta nah. have just tell us something. I need because to know. you know what happens. Matter of, I had this situation with my friend. So my friend had a girlfriend, and your friend, huh? Yeah, my homie, my homeboy had my my my. Your friend, huh? Yeah, my friend had a girlfriend. This is a while ago. Mm-hmm. My friend had a girlfriend, and his girlfriend was like my homie. Far as like we like we was homies before they got together, or whatever. And you like you I was her? nah. Okay. So I should have. I should have. So we we should've. yeah. So we was in the. She was what? a little. She was a little cool little thing. And what? so I'm surprised he You should have? You reminiscing? No, I'm not, girl. What are we talking about? You should have? No. Then why you say you should have? I'm saying back then, because of how you acted. Let me finish the story. Mm. So we was we was in the dorm and um she was helping me with my homework because like the homework was hard or whatever. <clears throat> and she tried to bust a move on me, right? And I'm like, whoa. So the first thing I do, I record the conversation. I, I'm I'm swift, I'm swift with the motherfucking voice record. I record the, the, the conversation. I send it to him like, yo, bro. Don't say anything to her, bro, because she helps me with my fucking homework. I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to look like, I'm like, yo, don't say anything, but I didn't do anything. I'm letting you know she tried to fuck me. Don't do not do anything. Boy. <laughs> this nigga goes to her, tell her everything. She lies and says she wasn't trying it because she was in her period. Next thing you know, she don't fuck with me no more. He's still fucking with her. And then she ended up cheating on him with another nigga. Like, you're a fucking idiot. And you know who you are if you're watching this. So... And that, but don't do it. So I like say, that. I saw, I saw, I saw, I say that to say, I say that to say, I don't know, cause even if I told my moms, she fuck around, be like, I don't believe you. So I like, I might as just keep my motherfucking mouth closed, like. Three months rent, like I said. Period. Yeah, pay my three months rent. Yeah, okay. right, exactly. That's what I said. Yeah. Period. That's six bands. Six bands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pete Pop Smoke. Question Yo, question. what's crazy <clears throat> is these young rappers are going out faster. Than I've ever seen is either they're incarcerated mm-hmm. or they're gunned down or some of the sort. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck, bro? Mm. Why right. did you see somebody was saying Pop Smoke is like Biggie of, t- of the young generation time? Do you agree with that? Come on, man, we can't ask that. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm just, just I'm passed just, away, man. I don't want you know what I'm saying. Like, but but that's what they're saying. They're saying he's the Biggie of. Their generation, the same way, same ordeal. Biggie just got hot. He just got on. Boom, boom, boom. Somebody kills Biggie. Do you think our, Pop Smoke was the Biggie of the youth generation? Uh, Baby, I welcome to the pod. I can't say that. That shit bang. Though. I can't say that like shit gonna bang to for say a he was while. Biggie. That's a huge impact. But he was he was a, definitely a huge influence. He um his music his music crank. Yeah, he was traveling around the world. Yeah, so that don't take nothing away from him. I don't want to seem like you know what I'm saying. Pop song definitely got a unique sound. I think that he's definitely, you know, one of those. Like I really feel like that song is gonna crank every time it comes on for a long. And time. everybody was fucking with him. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? everybody. 50, 50 was on his side. Yeah. You know what I'm like everybody was fucking with him. I didn't realize how close him and Fifty were until like recently. Yeah, like they fucked. Yeah, with R.I.P. Pop Smoke. You know, I see. The only thing I don't like is I see a lot of uh, what you call speculation on what's going on, his, being his friends and. It being Yo, that shit and I don't up. really like, like they it. They violated his homie on Instagram. Yeah, I don't like it. Like I his think brother. that I think that this generation, like everything, hits media so fast. They don't even get people time to grieve. Mm-hmm. You know, their fans to grieve, their family to grieve. It's always like, oh no, I know what happened because of this, and or he was irresponsible over this, or da 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 da, or this is this. It's like, yo, he just passed. Let that man, family and fans mourn his death. I don't know why I'm over that. I'm sorry. Let that man mourn. You know what I'm saying? Let his friends mourn. Why would you do that? Jay Hill. Uh, it does, though. Come on, it's lit. <laughs> it's lit. I just wanted to be known this has never happened before. <laughs> this I don't know what the hell just happened. Jay is cutting up. Jay, it's lit. He's acting like this is Hennessy for real. Shout out to Luke Belair because he's really wilding right now. Yeah. <laughs> for it. All right. So, ah! All right. So, no, um, 
now we pack up quick, so we'll be out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Ten minute cleanup tonight. Facts. Th- thanks, babe. Thanks. So, <laughs> R.P. Pop Smoke. I'm sorry. So, on to the next topic because I can't focus. Bully nine year old Quaden Bells. Is it Bayless or Bells? Bells. Bells. Bells? You said Bayless. Skip. It's not like Skip Bayless. Okay. So, nine year old Quaden, mm-hmm. who was crying for being bullied in school, he does suffer from dwarfism. But he, he, I think he looks nine though. Dwarfism is when you like you we, older, he, but you yeah, still, you small. Yeah, well, all you talking like that's what that's what a, a midget, if you're listening to this and not watching it, air quotes, that's what a midget would be. Mm-hmm. Except, okay, all mm-hmm. right, okay, so I don't have nothing about how you how, how old you look. All right, all right, all right. So, what do you feel about nine year old Quaden? So, I only say that because it's other pictures that's going around, and to me, they don't look alike. It just look like they're midgets. Like, like I don't. So a whole bunch of midgets. No, 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 no. I don't. Lie, I don't think they look. I, I don't think they. So when people nobody, saying that, uh, small, little, little. Oh, people. little people. Okay, I mean, I feel like, come on, man, y'all not. Don't kill me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know what's up. I ain't mean no disrespect. So what I'm saying is, smaller people. You know what I'm saying? Um, people that suffer from dwarfism. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, like, respectful. Um, people that suffer from dwarfism. I feel like that they're just posting other people that suffer from that. I don't think like to me when I see these other these other people, they don't look like the child that was crying. Not to me. I, I don't like it. Don't look like it. So one, don't kill me. I've always been scared of midgets my whole life. So mm. I'm sorry. Like they, no, really, like mm. little. People. That's all right. You been squished? I mean, little people. I'm you scared sorry. of what you scared of? When I see them in person, I really like get like weird feelings For not real? because like i'm sorry like not to say like that it's just like i don't know if my body isn't or my brain isn't used to processing it but like when i be seeing like couples and stuff like or like midgets little people excuse me strippers and stuff like this it really like so i was watching b simone mm-hmm. and on uh, her show where's my boyfriend little show and she had a girl come on the show and she was like a little person Mm -hmm. and she wanted her to be her girlfriend and i just was like this is the strangest shit i've ever seen Mm. but yeah they are heavy out here it's a lot of them motherfuckers not to call y'all motherfuckers but it's a lot of y'all as far as quaden so i don't know what to think because when i seen the video i wanted to cry i said oh my god who did this to this baby like if Mm. it was my baby i'm gonna beat everybody's ass like who was talking shit because i'm coming through with the squad, we fucking everybody up if y'all paying with my baby. But then I seen this little nigga flashing motherfucking hundreds. <clears throat> this nigga is singing rap, putting up his middle finger. I'm like, is he nine or is he 19? Like, I'm confused. And everybody's saying it's a scam. I don't want to. So this is how I feel. I want to believe he's nine, right? And he got the money. And he got excited, and he's just in his bag when he is with his regular friends. Like, you know, he's rapping, he's in the camera. You know, I think that my 10-year-old, you give her 100000 right now, she probably gets in the camera wallet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm rich, bitch. Like, even if she was bullied, right? Mm-hmm. But then there's the other side. I'm like, my nigga pulled up in a whole Gucci suit. He wild, like... You can't be this bully if you out here with middle fingers. You thugging. Like, he's acting like he's been thugging. Like, I'm like... First of all, you're a nine-year-old little person. You better not be out here thugging because I'm going to judge your mama. Facts. But I'm, I'm not even going to judge you. I'm going to just judge your mama. Alex. But where the fuck, like, what are we, like, what's going on? Alex, like, did you uh, do any research on this? What, what Was that the same person? So as I was looking up, <laughs> I, I, I still don't know if it's the same person, to be honest. Because all the motherfuckers look alike. Is that they like Chinese people? Hella support. He has over four hundred thousand, and maybe climbing more as far as GoFundMe's. But the one thing that we don't know, and everybody's still speculating, is whether or not he uh, is, is nine the, is or nine he's or older. 18. But as early as this morning, news broke that he brought out the Australia because he's from Australia, I believe. He brought out the Australian rugby team. And he uh, he let him out today, so they're still mm. giving him support. They're still showing him love. Oh, Nothing boy. has broke about this being a scam. It's crazy because Just I feel yet, like, but stay tuned. Okay. Wow, I feel like like celebrities really do the most to show that like they're good people, so they like go out their way to always support these type of campaigns. I'm actually laughing at them if it is incorrect because I feel like you know 
way to not support privately because like you know there's tons of charities that deserve your donations there's tons of things going on in your community yeah, where you came from right. that i'm sure that deserves your donations yeah. and the first thing that goes viral that's what you want to put your money to to show that you're supportive and that you're not this shallow celebrity but this is the cause of this we like, snapping so, for that we snapping for that that's we a word right that. there that's because this is the cause of this you have a lot of people do a lot of things for clout. You get what I'm saying? Like, if we are living in a time that the minute the saddest thing goes viral, i.e. the girl who act like she was kidnapped from her mom. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, we're over here mourning all the girls who don't get found, don't get to go home, that are really being abducted and taken away from their families, and then you got somebody who plays like this. This is another, to me, another scenario like that. Here we are. We have this supposable nine years old, little boy suffering from bullying and then I turn around and see all these videos it's like there's no way you're getting bullied mm -hmm. like you got swag for days let it tell you mm -hmm. like you out here you rude you up middle fingers you flashing your money there's no way you're but out here getting however, bullied however just playing devil's advocate just because you act like that doesn't mean you can't be getting bullied but my thing is okay but you fine. should you should humble fine. yourself but like, okay that's my thing so to me when I when okay and maybe this is like maybe this is it's like okay so there's kids who get bullied right and would use this as a humbling situation like damn like you know what i'm saying y'all just uplifted my life thank you y'all just gave me money to go to disney i'm gonna give this money back to my mom mm -hmm. for doing all these things for me i'm gonna put it into my family i want to create a better life to myself but then you get arrogant mm -hmm. then you get this money you get arrogant <laughs> To me, that's no bully. I don't know if your feelings were just hurt or you're being bullied because I think there's also a fine line with that too. Right. Like I think everybody as a kid, somebody's made some joke about or said some things that hurt your your feelings. Like, you know, I remember when I was younger, like I, you know what I'm saying? It was various of things that, you know, I might've been made fun of. It probably hurt my feelings, but I think kids experience that on the daily. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can be <clears throat> the coolest, prettiest, swaggiest, and somebody's going to have something to say that might embarrass you out. But are you... Be, are you embarrassed? Or are you bullied? Because to me, I feel like bully, like kids that are bullied is, are timid. They're shy. They don't ha know how to defend yourself. So you look like a baby crying for to kill yourself to a baby that's arrogant, sticking up your middle fingers. I so got I, money, bitch. I don't. I don't like. I don't what the fuck is good. I don't necessarily I don't know how I tie those in. I don't necessarily agree with that because a lot of kids that's bullied turn into bullies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And they turn into the guys that that do things that they shouldn't because they were bullied and they have this um this insecurity in them that they feel like they have to prove this to the world. They feel like they got to show this off to the world like when that's now, not look true. look at me now. Yeah, so, again, I really don't know. I can't, I don't really have an opinion on this because I don't, me personally, the kid and the other person that I was seeing in the, with the Gucci and shit, it ain't look like the same person to me. However, I mean, I, guess, I, I, I mean, I, I think that they give my, I mean, don't kill me for saying this. I mean, it looked like they gave my man a bath. I, like, I don't know in the first video, I don't know what the fuck was going on, that, which led me to believe where I'm still trying to figure what side I'm on because I feel like the first video, it's almost like they made him look like dingy, like dark eyes, like faces if it was in the mud or okay. something. Right. And then in the Gucci one, he's clean, hair pulled back, hat back to, to the back, Gucci suit. So it's almost like, I don't know. Like, I'm still deciding where I lie. What I will say is, if it is correct information, I do feel bad because mm. there are people who are going out their way, like, you know, kind of like, you little motherfucker, you got us, you sugar cube head ass. Mm. Like, you, like, going on them. And which turns in, if it is accurate information, we are now at another bullying yeah, yeah. situation <clears throat> because we, you don't know what's true or not true. But you're picking your side. And you're coming in and attacking him for what he was already suicidal for. That can still be a trigger, especially because he's now viral. And now just imagine him going to look at these things online, <clears throat> looking like, wow, they're saying all these things about me. So if what hurt you before, this should really nah, be hurtful, whether worse. you got Gucci or not. Well, hopefully we can. Hopefully he's not lying. And hopefully that like, he just got the bag and like. Let me tell you something. This little motherfucker better not be lying because <laughs> yeah. I almost cried for his ass. Yeah. And I'm tired. Now of when I watched the video, I was like, it was Damn. sad. But no, nah, no, nah, I'm lying. No wait, I'm lying. But the wait. thing is, no, no, so wait. That's not. I didn't. Exists, right? I didn't. Exists. I, I didn't almost cry. I'm lying. When I first seen the video, the first thing that came to mind is, why is it okay for people to be publicizing their yeah. like like to me? It's like. I get it. You want to show the world, but show the world in the other way. You know what I'm saying? Like go go about it by making a campaign and, and going against it. Don't show 
show your kid crying like I'm showing my kid crying because y'all need no like no like so I, when, think... when my when my child is crying the la- if, if, if Amaya is crying because somebody bullying yeah. her the like last that. thing I'm yeah. thinking is putting her on Instagram I'm, I'm not trying to post my daughter crying while so people can laugh yeah. the fuck no, no but, that ain't what I'm trying like, to do but, but you know clout exists real. bitches that's why I say yo it shout exists. out to Cardi B she a genius because these bitches do anything for clout for a fact for clout. Shout- you know and offset offset yeah well shout out to shit offset but you know what i'm saying like you know what I'm saying? no but seriously like um yeah i don't know i'm still trying to figure out where i stand on this side because it definitely looks suspect as fuck but also you know bullying does exist so you can't cancel it out in its way either mm, so. well yeah hopefully he's not yeah. hopefully he's not um bullshit, what's up man? with twitter <laughs> deleting well having a filter to be able to delete out dick pics nude pics and all of that things there. Um, it's called Safety M. It just was launched on <clears> Friday. <throat> and it's designed to block and delete unsolicited nude images in people's private Twitter messages. Um, I think that, uh, so they kind of do that already. Or like Instagram, mean? like if it's, if they'll it's, blur uh, it out, they'll yeah, they'll it say out. this is sensitive, um, sensitive content. Yeah, so shout out to that. Um, but I, are they just not showing it at all? Not at all. Wow. Okay, mm. developer Kelsey Bressler How do they know? built the artificial intelligence behind the plugin by putting it out an open call for nude images of penises, <laughs> referred to as dick pics on Twitter. So Received over 4,000 images in total and hopes to roll the plugin out to other social media platforms. So essentially, what the plugin is supposed to do is be able to <laughs> vet whether or not what the Why just dick is. pics? Cause niggas be wildin'. So That's literally why. on Twitter, she was asking for solicited dick pics yeah. to, to But try literally out. dick pics. Like we're not even talking about titties, ass. It's dick pics. You know why? Cause y'all niggas be fucking wildin'. You may want to see that shit. I can't even send a dick pic, honestly. Why not? Cause my shit ain't going. It's uh, like. But good night. <laughs> sorry, sorry, so, sorry, good sorry, sorry. Good fucking night. Good <laughs> fucking night. Honestly, all right. Gemini episode. <laughs> <laughs> that was a layup, though. That was a layup. That was yeah, an easy yeah, layup. You, you, that uh, was a layup. Like, y'all said y'all, All like, I have to say you, is, you, you know, act, I see like, that was girls. Up. <laughs> I see girls. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, girls. What you you know, see, what? I see girls constantly complaining about niggas <laughs> sending a dick pic. Anybody seen your dick pic while we together? I feel like. All right, so the episode Girls. is over. <laughs> no, talk about how guys. I ask you a question. Did anybody see your dick pic while we was together? I, it's a lot of freaks out here, Jay. Like, real quick. You ain't answering the question. It's creeps out here. Did anybody send you a dick pic while we was together? Nah, so people ask to, like, suck my toes, like, send me money. Like, it'd be weird shit Why in you my private money? What the fuck? Because they might send me a dick pic. I don't want right, to nah, see nah, it. Right, facts. So, uh, so, it. so a nigga never sent you a dick pic while we was together? Tune in next week. So the so the so next you, week on Dragon Ball Z. So, say. You, so, you, so you must have liked the dick pic that much because you ain't no, you I didn't just say like yeah. Them, no, okay, first did of all, they, I didn't like no. Not? Di- first of all, I don't like dick pics. Did they or did they not? Yes, I've gotten. God a dick pic. damn. Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's all. I think it's a joke amongst every female group of niggas sending dick pics because niggas like you gotta understand so the internet it it. i've said this all the time so when you it. think about the internet it's motherfuckers from arkansas fucking idaho right. weird ass places like wisconsin cool. yeah, send wakanda. you shit so like right. oh wakanda so, so so answer this question if they coming from wakanda that shit so, might be through the roof what the <laughs> fuck type of shit <laughs> what i was just joking like that's just a stereotype i don't know what like, come on. what come on <laughs> If they just what? Gemini Scorpio podcast. Make sure you no, subscribe. No, 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 you can't exit out. Mm. You just said that shit might the be through time. the roof. I'm talking about my dick, not nobody else's dick. Why are we talking about your dick? That's what I don't understand about you. About That's what's crazy dick. about you. You talking about another you, nigga? But you want to talk about your dick on the camera for everybody, for all the girls to come ask you to come suck it. But you talking about another nigga dick? But we're not talking about yours either. But you just said if a nigga sent you a dick from Wakanda, that was yours because we're not talking about yours. But if a nigga sent you a dick from Wakanda, it might be through the roof. Are you from Wakanda? No. Oh. I couldn't tell. <laughs> she tried. <laughs> that was uh, that was good. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right anyway, <laughs> period, boo. We gonna end on that note, man. All um, right, yo. Jim and I Scorpio podcast. Hey, make sure, fourteen. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. Make sure y'all go Donate on. Donate ninety nine cents to ninety nine. 
dollars. Yes, yeah, I mean wait what? Nine ninety nine. Nine. So man, go to Anchor.fm and um please just put the support ad. I mean support tab. Ninety nine cents. Yo, we got the whole team. You understand that? Like we're we're putting in a lot of work in this. Um, I mean a lot of work and effort. Uh, shout out to everybody us, that's supporting us. Shout out to everybody that's behind you. the scenes. Shout out to um just everybody because we definitely appreciate it and hopefully we looking to get fourteen and to get four hundred and fourteen. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. um, Gemini Scorpio podcast. We out. Follow us at the Gemini Scorpio pod. Where you at? At Mr. Mr. Underscore, underscore J Hill. At Healer Bay, H E A L E R B A E underscore. I'm a little tipsy, so. And we, we out, out, man. Zero Period. one four.